Yeah, it's been one of those days. Hello everyone, I'm Kristen Laura Luna and you're watching 8 Awful Things People Say to Snake Owners. Stick around. Nope, the likelihood of that is slim to none. In fact, I'm more scared of getting killed by a deer than a snake, since the chance of me dying from a deer-related car accident is 1 in 1 16th. In fact, you're more likely to be killed by a deer than a bear, shark, and a gator combined. Deer are scary, stay away from them. But in all seriousness, do I come over to your house and say your dog's or cat's gonna kill you? I mean, let's be honest, the cat might, but I would never say that. That's your pet and I respect that. So respect mine and stop saying it wants to kill me. It's disgusting. Why would you want a snake? What is disgusting about a snake? They poop once a week, they eat once a week, or a month depending on the size. They're quiet, can be kept in terrariums, and they're quite docile when socialized. They aren't slimy like some people think, so why is it disgusting to have a pet snake? Is it because of the frozen thawed rodents? Well, Unless you're a vegetarian, I bet you have some cut-up cows and chickens in your freezer. Let's not judge. I'm not coming to your house. That's fine with me. If your irrational fear of creatures that can't do you any harm keeps you away from my house, I'm okay with that. I'm trying to weed people out of my life and you just crossed yourself off the list. They're evil, the Bible says so. They're mean and vicious. As babies, snakes can be hissy and strike at you, but at that stage they're too small to do any damage. Once they're socialized and become adults, they can be quite docile. Some snakes are just naturally docile. Chaos, my jungle corn, has never bit, hissed, or struck me, even when he was a baby. In the wild, you would be considered a predator and go figure the snake doesn't want to be killed or eaten, so it's going to threat posture and try to scare you away or hightail it out of there. When you see a snake, remember it's more scared of you than you are of it. You're bigger, so be a better person. If I saw that in my house, I would kill it. I'm happy you're fine with animal murder. Heaven forbid you find a way to trap and release it back into the wild, save its life and the ecosystem. Maybe you can use that Bible you're so fond of. And thanks for threatening to kill my pet. The next time I see your dog in my yard, I'll be sure to treat it the same way. Is it I get people are scared of snakes because they believe they are venomous and have huge fangs. Most snakes don't have fangs. They have small needle-like teeth that won't cause much damage if they bite you. Some people say it doesn't hurt. Of course, I wouldn't know because my snake has never bitten me. And even if he was venomous, the chances of someone dying from snake venom is nearly zero. That thing is going to kill your other pets. Now let me say, I know people don't mean any harm when they say these things. It's misconceptions born from ignorance and fear. But that's why I make videos so you can educate yourself on what not to say to snake owners and why. Snake owners, have you heard of any of this stuff before? Do you have something to add to the list? Talk about it in the comments below. As always, give this video a thumbs up or down. Let me know if you liked it or hated it and subscribe for more. I post videos every Monday. Thanks for watching. Bye!